Good morning! We are coming on camera full on bonnet mode. And this is always a scary part. So I did my hair last night. Wow. Okay, we're looking a little bit better. Just a little bit. The middle part is kind of, it's like, I don't know what it wants to do. You know, we kind of struggle sometimes. And I went to sleep with no pineapple. I have to see you guys here. I went to sleep without any pineapples. Just literally scoop my hair up in the bonnet. Why does it feel like the camera's sideways? I fixed the camera a little bit because we were looking sideways. Oh my god, you guys, my hair feels so soft. I can't talk too much because I have to do skincare. My hair, my skin is dry. But hi, come here, come. This sweet baby. This is my sweet. Oh, you're not, you're not being very sweet. I gave them baths last night and they feel so soft. I brushed your teeth. You got nice teeth. We clean your ears. Only thing I don't do to the dogs is clip their nails. I'm too scared. One of our friends, she clipped her dog's nail and she said it was bleeding for like a whole day. So that scared me. But he's so fluffy. Hi, baby. I love him. Okay, okay. All right, fine. I won't carry you. Pero vamos a ver qué lo que hacemos con este pelo because hello. But the curls look great. I used the LUS curls. I've been loving, loving when I tell you. I have had the simplest hair routine ever since like discovering, rediscovering that brand because I just used that on like almost dry hair and you guys now that the weather is colder my hair is good for like four days and i haven't been doing the pineapple method i just stick my hair in a pineapple i mean stick my hair in a bonnet and i'm good to go and this is what it looks like if you noticed i don't know if you will but i did cut my hair again i know at this point i'm just addicted to scissors but the only reason why i cut my hair and i i need to do my skincare i feel like my skin looks so dry and you guys can tell making me feel a little insecure and i don't even have anything on my lips coffee makes me so happy i brought this candle from walmart you guys i haven't vlogged in like a whole week and that's because this entire week today's friday by the way so we'll do like a little weekend vlog i haven't vlogged this entire week because i've been doing so much like computer work i just call it computer work okay editing admin stuff emails i actually have to do a little bit now before i head out i'm gonna go to oh my mom called i'm gonna go to, to like a local spot to get some bagels because i really have been craving a bagel i haven't had a bagel in like two weeks and so i want to bring it let me call my mom let me see where they are because we were gonna meet up in the meantime i'm gonna light this candle hey girlfriend oh my god no all right i will be there i'm gonna do skincare and i'm just vlogging a little bit i'm changing my earrings to these cute ones i have been into huggies what am i talking about actually okay here's this thing you guys my brain is all over the place i was looking for a a candle like a wick trimmer oh here it is and then when i opened the gaveta i saw that i had a whole bunch of earrings because i have been looking for all of my earrings can you ponga limpia and i don't know where i put things and so i really have been into like little huggies and i found all of mine like all of my little earrings i found them i thought i had lost them look at these so cute but i'm in the mood to wear these because these are like a twisty one. Oh, and they're so cute so i'm gonna wear these usually i would wear hoops like big hoops when my hair is down but because i'm not doing any makeup and i'm just gonna focus on skincare today i am not gonna wear any hoops i don't know why i'm about to light a candle because my parents are like waiting for me well they're not like waiting waiting for me but they're already at the meeting spot i'm gonna light this candle though it's not even charged. This is the only thing about these electric lighters that they die. Let me see if this one's charged. One of these got to be charged. Okay, yay. This is the Better Homes and Gardens Banana and Pumpkin Bread. These are looks like so beautiful. I got it from Walmart because I was looking for my favorite candle at Walmart and I didn't find it. So I was sniffing all the other candles and I found that one. Anyways, let me put my hair back and then I'll do skincare and continue telling you guys what I was telling you guys. Also, I did my baby hairs last night. And this is why I use the cream of nature glue because I told you your hair will not move. They're intact. See, this is why I use that one all the time. I'm going to use my Laneige lip sleeping mask. This one is in the scent mint cocoa. 
it's the blue one i like go crazy with this and i put it all over my face and i'm using the tatcha violet c <clears throat> excuse me violet c brightening serum right here and i love using this stuff because i like to like make sure my complexion stays even and whenever i have a breakout listen if i have a pimple and i just look at the pimple it's already scarred like that's just the way my skin is any breakout you cannot deny that i got a pimple because i don't know what it is milo i just always stay with a scar even if i don't touch it i don't pop i also got some oils from this brand called lowly and i'm gonna use this one it's a calming beauty oil this is the one and i actually just got this in the mail but i left it open on my desk i have such a bad habit of doing that of leaving products open and when i went to reach something the oil spilled and it was a brand new one so i'm gonna try to still obviously use it i'm not a fan of the smell I will say but it is nice and thick and hydrating which i really like because you guys know i have really dry skin so i always try to like moisturize it so this is gonna act as my moisturizer today because look at the sheen look at the shine last but not least super goop i love this one the eucerin one i feel like my face looks a little puffy today i literally just woke up like obviously y'all saw the bonnet not too long ago so i'm like super puffy i'm going to use the spf I was going to do some computer work, but I guess we'll do that when we come back because we're just going to get some bagels, say hi to my parents. They're going to come with me to walk the dogs and take them to the park because it's a really nice day today, finally. It's been gloomy and raining all week, so we're going to take advantage and just take them to the park. I literally love the glow screen. Like, that made a huge difference. Now, I would put eye cream, but it's not calling for that right now last but not least i'm gonna put some nivea cream on my hands because they're dry and there's no worse feeling than having dry hands in my opinion i cannot have dry hands dry skin oh it literally makes me cringe literally like i just can't and the nivea cream is the best i know i always talk about it but you guys know nivea cream is og but i've been put on to nivea way later in life and everybody i had already like loved the cream and ever since i discovered how my dry skin has made such a difference and so that's why i always mention it so what i was trying to tell you guys was that i cut my hair and it's not new i always cut my hair and i'm trying to grow it out y'all i really am like that's my intention that is my heart's desire but if you guys watch my other video i was talking to you guys about my little tail and how that's always an issue and how like moving forward i'm going with a new mindset a new haircut vision so that um when my curls grow out have, i'm not stuck with a tail for my like new little haircut situation what i'm doing now is that i'm focusing on growing out my curls but before growing it out i wanted to get rid of the long tail that i had do we see this this is bothering me hold on this is typically what i do when i take my hair out of the bonnet and i have a frizzy piece like you can see she's not listening so we're gonna bring her back into place no water no nothing i'm just applying some product to the strand sometimes i will finger coil it sometimes it just bounces up on its own see there we go and then there's another section up here that it seems like it either dried out or i didn't put enough product that makes such a difference let me put some more here because it looks like and then it's just gonna shrink back up that's just what my hair does so whatever part has frizz i just go back in with the same product that i used and then i will adjust it sometimes if i like layer too many products i will go in with mousse because mousse dries right away and it's literally the best way to refresh my curls and it works really well i don't know why i'm like not into the the side part anymore you guys still like what do you rock the side part middle part like i feel like this looks weird to me so i prefer a middle part but my middle part isn't like it's not looking cute i got some scissors on amazon they're cutting scissors because i did joy's hair and my scissors i gave her a haircut but my scissors were super dual so it's like i need to order some new ones so you know like just in case i have to give joy another haircut or give myself another haircut or anybody my mom anybody i want some sharp like actual hair cutting scissors and so i got these on amazon and you can't buy hair cutting scissors and not test it out it just doesn't make any sense so i was like well i got the scissors i want to see how well they work and so so I gave myself a haircut. I didn't touch the top. You guys know I'm not touching the top because Ona already shaped the top and things can get really choppy, really messy, really quickly. And I'm trying to grow it out. So that's not my intention. But I did take off like three more inches of the bottom of my hair. And I know it doesn't seem like it because my hair shrinks up anyway, but it's kind of short. 
it was literally under it was like to here and I cut it up to here so I gave myself a little haircut and I feel like I finally got rid of that tail if you guys can see it maybe you can let me know I feel like I did get rid of the tail finally and that just makes me so freaking excited because now I feel like I can start my journey and no more testing scissors I already got the tail if I cut any more than that it's not gonna work so I need to stop okay so I'm gonna do this really fast because I have to go but I did a little hack to my desk and I had this white obviously but I don't know what it just was peeling like it wasn't looking as fresh <laughs> hi baby hi it wasn't looking as fresh I didn't like it didn't like how it looked I could have done white but I have white everywhere the white walls the white this and all of this white so I wanted to break it up so I put this like little adhesive thing from Amazon I'm gonna link it in case you want to freshen up your desk freshen up your vanity your table it looks like like faux wood it's so cute and i think it looks so much better than the all white i'll step back so you guys could see the full picture here it is it looks so much better and my camera broke guys i'm so sad i'm gonna have to go on monday to get it fixed but i have no idea what happened to it this is the canon 90d this is the one that i used to film my reels and tiktoks and it just broke and it gave up on me so thank god i have insurance so this is a reminder if you buy any tech stuff girl I know sometimes you think like, oh, it's never happened. Just buy your insurance because that's me. And luckily, I bought this in 2020 and I have a four-year insurance. Otherwise, I would have had to pay so much money out of pocket. So I'm so grateful I have the insurance. So this is your friendly reminder to make sure you add insurance to everything because you never know what could happen. But my Canon 90D it didn't fall. Literally nothing happened. The battery slot, like it just stopped working. I don't know what happened. So I'm glad I have this one, the one that I used to use to film because if not, I would have been in so much trouble but anyway this is the desk and it looks so much fresh it looks new it feels more spacious for some reason so that was actually the fastest trip ever so i didn't even vlog because i ended up taking mia with me i didn't even get bagels i ended up getting an acai bowl and it was just so fast that i didn't even need to vlog i got some pr i'm assuming this one is from rare beauty it is yay i got some rare beauty so let's unbox it together celebrate what makes you rare Ooh! oh this is so fun but it says rare beauty here I will definitely be keeping this like nine times out of ten when I get a PR package and it has like a makeup case I always give it away because if not I'll end up accumulating so much and it's just too much Ooh! okay so this one I will definitely be keeping because I like the neutral color and I can put like my makeup brushes for like travel or something these are cute so we got some fun products here we have the perfect stroke eyeliner liquid matte got a universal volumizing mascara we also have some lippies we rare beauty in the shade gifted this is a matte lip liner i want to see how this looks because i have not tried any lip liners from rare beauty so i actually want to see how this we have the gold lid well not the lid the tapa it's sticking out oh my god look it is literally sticking out and it's not going back in oh i don't want to break it how do we okay 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 it's going back in okay Whew, i got scared there let's try it shall we i have like vaseline on my lips so i wonder if it's gonna work it's very velvety this is a pretty color it's kind of hard to tell because i'm not wearing makeup so i i wouldn't wear like a color like this without any makeup it is a pretty liner like i could envision it with a makeup look what do you guys think and then they also sent over two more colors but these are the the lip souffle matte lip cream and we have the color heroic and the color i feel like they sent me this last time inspire let's open up inspire because i haven't done a red lip and i think i did it on camera a while ago when they sent me pr last time but let's try this color let's see what it looks like so i will say that the formula is so unmatched like it doesn't feel like i have anything on my lips now the color i haven't done a color in so long that i feel weird like i literally feel weird with a color obviously i don't have any makeup on obviously i probably should have done this with some makeup on but it's giving like 2013 chelly when i used to wear colors like this i don't think it's bad 
it's just a little out of my comfort zone and then or should I say a lot out of my comfort zone the formula is beautiful but will I wear it is the question so I try to take it off I probably still have some on my lips I don't know why this contact is being annoying this is from it says Briogeo so let's see what we got I haven't used Briogeo in such a long time or like seen them or anything so I wonder if they sent over something new or is this Briogeo? oh it is cool let me take this out of the box oh they have supplements now what in the world so briogeo has supplements now it's briogeo be well a uh, vegan omega 369 biotin this is what the packaging looks like here you can see the vitamins so we got that which is interesting we have the briogeo destined for destiny caffeine and biotin peptide density conditioner and then we also have the peptide density shampoo so we have the duo again it's so bright in my room so white products is always usually like hard to see um but then last but not least, and then last but not least, we have the Destined for Destiny Mega Strength Caffeine and Biotin Peptide Density Serum. I wonder if this is like a scalp stuff. Section your hair and apply one to two drops to the scalp. Focus on areas concerned, such as temples, crown, and hairline. Massage into scalp. Do not rinse for best results. Use daily on wet or dry hair. Cool. I'm going to put some on because y'all know my edges are my trouble areas. At least. Ooh, this is pretty. Now that's some really cool stuff. So we're gonna take some of these drops and it says one to two drops. So I'm gonna just put it on. Oops, I don't think I grabbed enough. It seems like it's thick. It's not like runny or anything. Massage that into my problem areas, which is my edges. So that's the other side. So I definitely will be testing this out. I'm probably gonna do it like right before putting my hair in a bonnet. I'll probably just throw that on, on my edges, on my front, cause I do a lot of hairstyles and then just like in my crown area to make sure that I can retain as much thickness as possible. And of course we're trying to grow out the hair. So anything extra can help. So this is really cool. And then I'll also be trying their shampoo and conditioner cause I haven't used Briogeo in so long, especially not a shampoo and conditioner. I used to just use their deep conditioners. Bake some cookies. Yum. Hi, friends. Oh, you guys look cuddly. What is it? You have the wrong? 